Is that where you are, Lisa? USC Oregon in Eugene with Brent Musburger and Herb Street? That's me. All right. <laughs> if I can get there, yeah, if I can we, get a flight out. Yeah, we, we're all looking at that. Duke's got a game Friday in Boston. Lisa's in Oregon Saturday. We're hoping to get to Denver International at some point with all this snow. Then they inside. Is that where you are, Lisa? Back in Denver, the only thing thicker than blood in basketball is the Carolina blue ties. Man, if you're Carolina, you're through and through. Ty Lawson on the left there. Uh, here's the rookie as the team came out for the first time. They let the rookie go by himself. You lead us, guy. Well, guess what? We'll, we'll be there eventually. <laughs> they got him. And Ty Lawson, we mentioned his Tar Heel resume, including a national championship last year. And QB, of course, uh, Dean Smith, the tie for so many of the Carolina guys. And what Lawson, and there's his speed, blocked by Millsap. The tie Lawson recruited George out of Penn Hills High School in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, wow. He was an outstanding high school player. Picked the right school, recruited George Dean Smith. And as we all know, if you started at Carolina, you were probably an NBA player. That's right, that's right. Well, uh, the latest Carolina player to dent the scorebook in the NBA right there as the two free throws are knocked down by Dean Smith. Speed of Williams that nobody with him, and Lawson gets to put his speed on display. Now that was heady, mainly because he saw the defensive player was going to cut him off. He was able to keep his balance as he changed direction from right to left. Utah now trails for the first time since the early part of the first quarter. Lawson going to be called for the foul here. We asked Lawson before the game, what's the toughest part of the first few weeks of the NBA? He said the travel. <laughs> we made a 16-hour flight to China. Yeah, it's not the nine miles down to Duke anymore. <laughs> Those easy trips to the ACC. But he's being mentored by Phillips, and Chauncey likes what he sees out of the rookie. And it's a turnover here. Utah has eight turnovers now in the game. Lawson finding space and finding two for the rookie out of North Carolina. Has a couple of free throws and two field goals now. Six. And he's got over 50%. Only five guards in the league did that, and that is really quite an accomplishment. Phillips. Lawson with the assist and a three for Chauncey. Puts him up 46-44. That's the first three ball. Lawson pressuring the ball here. Shot over 50. Here comes Phillips with the Nuggets again. Yeah, Boozer's got to get going, Mike. He's one for eight. He's been around the rim. He's attacking the basket. He just needs to get on a little run. Nice feed from Lawson. He's really impressive here in this Boozer is struggling for yes. Utah. He's one for nine. Lawson and Price off the bench, working at oh, guard. Price speed. knocked it away. Lawson able to go get it because it was tipped by Price. Eight on the shot clock. Phillips, a three. Having a big quarter. Chauncey Phillips, ten in the quarter, 20 in the game. And the Nuggets reach Boozer. Lead to three. Mike, he's excellent on that baseline. That's called a mid-range shot. Nice. Right behind Lawson to Martin. That's what he can do. Quickness forced a double team. He beat his man. The other defender came, but he can make the lead to three. Set this two guard position is having a heck of a game. He's got 25 points. He's seven for nine on the foul line. Lawson crossing back for two. Nine in a row for the Nuggets. Now that's the second time that he's done that, Mike. One in the open floor. He's a step or two away from the board. He gives you that quick crossover and loses the set to Stugo. Watch the speed of loss that he was talking about. Well, the quickness factor, Mike. He's a great high school player, outstanding college player. See, he, see that move? That is a great move because he's doing it with quick and he's not putting the ball down. You're allowed to two-step move. As long as you shoot or pass the ball, you can lift up that pivot point. Right now, four. Count it. And a foul. And welcome to the NBA, Ty Lawson. Great upper body strike. Right now, the Utah Jazz are in trouble. Right now, every time that Denver is coming down, they're scoring or they're getting fouled. They're taking advantage off the dribble, attacking the rim. Ten points for Lawson. I always like to see the speed of the game when you have rookies who come in the league. Who have, which guys are too much for? Is there an adjustment period? He told us before the game, heading to the speed. He said, I feel pretty comfortable out there, and he looks it. How about this one from Boozer? St. Joe Hughes. It's almost like he had compensated last year with the injury and hasn't lost in the toss to the fin. And they... Price of three. 
0 for 6 in the frame. 3 on 2, Lawson. Oh! Nice. Now this young man, Mike, he's only played 19 minutes. He has 13 points and 5 assists. No turnovers. Zero. And Williams, the rest of these guys have got to step up here. The main thing right now is, come on, you got to defend, but more important thing to score the ball. No, and Williams, the right thing right now at this end of the floor, coming down, stop taking these long jump shots. Anytime you dribble into the gaps of the zone or you pass the ball inside, something good happens. Austin sizes up Brewer and goes right around here. Hello, yes indeed. That was the non-question about Ty Lawson, his speed. Remember, he thought about coming out. There's a loose ball foul here on Denver. He thought about coming out after his sophomore season. And the Nuggets worked him out there. And at the last minute, remember, he went back. All the Carolina guys came back, tried to run for the championship. They beat Michigan State up at Ford Field in Detroit to win the title. But Lawson, they wanted to see more consistency of an outside shot, a jump shot. I'm sure over time that could come, but this speed means he can be an impact guy in his rookie year. Mike, during the exhibitions, he shot over 54%, over 80 on the line. He's not going to force threes because he knows that that's not his game. His game is on the dribble, get inside, take it to the rim. Now look at that upper body strength. He's 195 pounds. That's why he can take all that contact and finish those three-point plays. And the thing right now... Tonight we've seen Denver play at their best. I thought that they were a little shaky at the beginning trying to get consistency for the full 12 minutes of each quarter. But they just wore Utah down. And no, everybody stopped after loss. The shot was blocked. 17. Terrific debut night. She's become available. Well, so there were guys available last year, and I think Detroit's banking on the rebuild with guys available this season. Carmelo Anthony and Ty Lawson check out. Reception from the Denver. She's become a Utah led this game 80 to 77 late third. Denver went on a 31 11 run, and that's what spelled the difference tonight. Carmelo Anthony with 30, the debut of Ty Lawson 17. They're both with Lisa Salter. Thanks, Mike. Carmelo, at one point in that fourth quarter, you guys were outscoring them 23 to 8. How were you able to pull away in that fourth quarter? We just wanted to attack, get to the rim, get to the foul line, um, and we did it. Top game in the game, pushes a little bit got us up and down, and got our momentum going. Now that dunk that you had in the fourth quarter and the emotion afterwards, what were you feeling at that time, saying, I'm back? I just felt like I was back, man. I, I haven't did that in a couple years, so I, you know, I try to tell myself I'm back. You know, we, we off to a great start right now, and it's a big year for us. All right, now let me go on to, to the rookie. Ty, how did you imagine that your NBA debut would be? You know, I thought I was going to come out here and get a couple minutes, you know, produce a little bit, get, get the people running, and that was it, but you know, I had a big game today. How did he do, Carmelo? He did good. He did good today. He, he did good. All right, and Ty, tell me, when you saw the ovation and heard the applause when you came out of the game, how did that make you feel? It made me feel real good. You know, I came to a team that wanted me. And obviously, the, cap, the crowd wanted me, too, by hearing uh, how loud they were when I came in the game. All right, congratulations to both of you guys.